Hello friends, welcome! Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to paint air plants using watercolor and sketchbook. I am using 140 GSM Monologue Basic Sketchbook, Windsor & Newton Cotman Paints, and my new brush, Escoda Ultimo Size 8. Links on where I got the materials are in the description box below. The air plant that I am going to paint is called Cotton Candy Air Plant owned by my husband's niece. I like its name. It's a fast-growing air plant and produces a rose pink flower when in bloom. I start at the center of the air plant using a mix of burnt sienna and yellow ochre. The colors are a bit dark, so I remove some of the excess with the tissue paper. Using a mix of more lemon yellow than phthalo blue, I start to paint the thin leaves. Using only the tip of the brush to paint the leaf, it resulted to a leaf that looks like a stick. To make the leaf look more realistic, start from the tip of the brush, then slowly apply pressure on the belly before lifting off from the tip of the brush to create a pointed edge on the leaf. It is helpful to hold your brush in an upright position at first, then bend it forward as you apply pressure. Paint from the center going out. Try to vary the size and position of the leaves. Observe how the leaves grow. Practice painting leaves by starting from the tip. Press the belly of the brush slightly before lifting off with the tip of your brush. Use more yellow on the green for the first layer. In watercolor, you always paint from light to dark. Continue to build up the depth of the leaves by overlapping. Lessen the yellow on the phthalo blue to create a darker green. Leaves below is lighter than the leaves in the foreground. To paint thin leaf, you can use the tip of the brush. I really like the nice pointy tip of the Escoda Ultimo brush. It is so helpful in painting small details. The size of the brush is versatile enough to paint quite big areas. I also like how the brush glides softly against the paper. Darken the shadow sides of the leaves by using a mix of phthalo blue and burnt sienna. To create more depth, I continue to add overlapping leaves.
I use cadmium bread to paint the pot. Air plants can thrive without soil, and they can be placed anywhere that provides good air circulation. I mix cobalt blue and burnt sienna, plus a little cadmium red for the shadow inside the pot. I also paint the little spaces in between the leaves using the same dark colors. I lighten the inside edges of the pot using clean water and tissue paper. I really enjoyed painting this air plants using the Escoda Ultimo brush. I will be creating a more in-depth review of this brush. So stay tuned! I hope this tutorial inspires you to paint your favorite plants in the garden or find a plant that fascinates you. Apply some of the techniques that you have learned in painting leaves using watercolor. If you have learned something, I appreciate your feedback by giving a thumbs up or leaving a comment. And also, please subscribe to learn more techniques on sketching and painting our lives. Thank you for learning with me and I will see you on the next video!